हेलो नमस्कार आई होप यू ऑल डूइंग वेल आई एम हेमा शर्मा टुडे आई एम कमिंग विद द टॉपिक कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस वेरिफिकेशन दैट इज सीपीवी एज पर योर रिक्वेस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द सीपीवी वी हैव टू सी द प्रोसेस वैलिडेशन फर्स्ट सो व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस वैलिडेशन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड और डिक्टेट हेयर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोसेस वैलिडेशन actually the process validation is an approach to quality of the products and customer satisfaction means if we are going to sell our product so we have to confirm first about the quality and efficacy of our product so that customer satisfy and customer care and customer health can be achieved for the process validation we have different guidelines like FDA guideline of general principle and practice EU guideline of qualification and validation and exer 15 WHO guideline TRS 1019 and exer 3 appendix 7 EMA guideline on process validation for finished products information and data to be provided in regulatory submission and visa guideline on process validation so these are some guidelines the background behind the guidelines or what they want to say the life cycle philosophy is a fundamental of ich guidelines document for the pharmaceutical development ichq8 quality risk management ichq9 pharmaceutical quality system ichq10 and development and manufacturing of drug substances ich q11 so all these guidelines give us the right approach with risk management about our process validation as per life cycle philosophy process validation is not considered a one time activity but rather an activity that spans the product life cycle linking process development validation of the commercial manufacturing process and its maintenance during the routine commercial production means all these guideline and all the regulatory requirement want only identify assess evaluate and control monitor process design with risk assessment and continuous monitoring on your process control one screenshot i have taken from the ipa presentation in which process validation is an important element of pharmaceutical quality system stated there is some bold words this is very important to understand the right approach as per the regulatory requirement an effective system provides assurance of the continued capability of process and control to produce a product of desired quality and to identify areas for continual improvement as per ichq10 means these guideline focus on continued improvement of the product quality quality safety and efficacy must be designed it and built into the product quality cannot be inspected or tested into the product means only testing is not sufficient don't make a provision of testing testing and testing there should be the design of your process and each and every step during the manufacturing give you the confidence of quality safety and efficacy effective process validation contributes significantly to ensuring drug quality quality cannot be adequately assured merely by in process and finished product inspection of the testing fda written this process validation should not be viewed as an off event it incorporates a life cycle approach linking product and process development validation of commercial manufacturing process and maintenance of the process in a state of control during the routine commercial production as per ema guideline on process validation so not sell the focusing the attitude the approach to produce the 
best product with the efficacy and quality of the of product only focusing the process design with your risk management and quality of your product ipa guideline of process validation one of the good guideline which give us most of the guidance about the process validation process design and all we can see risk assessment also in this guideline and format of process validation and report of process validation one of the slide i have taken from ip only which describe product quality related investigation have been on the rise and contribute maximum to the cost of poor quality one of the leading contribute to regulatory observation fda warning letter example approx uh, approximate percentage of total observation of batch failure investigation 2015 to 2017 increased major contributor to poor quality cost like rejection reward complaint all of this so the cost of your batch failure your quality of the product is more high than the investment that you did on your process design so approach of process validation divided into three stage as we all know stage first for process design stage second for process qualification and stage third continued process verification the word continued is used in fda and continuous use in eu so continuous process verification and continued process verification technically are the same so what is the process design the goal of this stage is to design a process suitable to routine commercial manufacturing that can consistently deliver a product that meet its quality attribute first step building and capturing process knowledge and understanding collect your knowledge increase your knowledge about the product scientifically risk based then build up the all things second establish the strategy for process control what are the control you are going to be implement on the basis of risk during the preparation here i am taking the short short things here because in a short video you can understand the actual picture stage 2 process qualification when you decide determine your process design confirm all the attributes all the process control then come into the stage 2 that is process qualification design of a facility and qualification of utility and equipment here second process performance qualification third ppq protocol and then execute your protocol and report that so this is your three batch education process state third our subjected like continued process verification the goal of the third validation stage is continuous assurance that the process remain in a state of control the validated state during the commercial manufacturing a system or system for detecting unplanned departure for the process at design is essential to accomplish the goal this goal so an ongoing program to collect and analyze product and process data that relate to product quality must be established right we are not preparing only three we are preparing 4 5 6 and as well on so we have to monitor each and every batch on each and every stage so we have to decide our control so we have to establish this type of system as per cfr 211 also the data collected should include relevant process trained and quality of incoming material or component in process material and the finished products the data should be strictly trained and reviewed by the trained person the information collected should be verified that the quality attribute are being appropriately controlled throughout the process i am not saying all this thing this is written in the guidelines so we have to see the approach of regulator to your process validation so what is the cpp cpp critical process parameter you decided at the time of process design and after you fix after the process validation three batches you fix the cpp to monitor 
your continuous process, your continuous product. So what is the CPP? CPP is a process parameter whose variability has an impact on the criticality quality attribute and therefore should be monitored or controlled to ensure the process produce the desired quality. You decided your CPV so that you achieve your efficacy in product, you achieve your quality in your product. What is CQA? Critical quality attribute. CQA is a physical, chemical, biological, or microbiological property or characteristic that should be within an appropriate limit range or distribution to ensure the desired product quality. Continuous process validation or verification. Okay. This is not only validation, this is the verification too. So continuous process verification, you have to write down what type of sample plan is in place for the verification. What data is collected? How much time data reviewed? How do I know my process in control stage? So this all these can come in verification, not validation. So when you prepare your plan for the verification, you have to decide these Question, what type of sample plan? What data is collected? How much time data reviewed? How do I know my process control stage? So remember all the things, prepare your document, all the questions on your mind and prepare the document so can you can capture and program, capture the result and program your CPV, continuous process verification. Example, in case of tablet, Manufacturing dispense quantity of approved material as per bomb and approved vendor, blending time and blended trypium, machine speed for compression. So what is the CQA? Approved material, AR number, expiry date, quantity and approved vendor list, blend uniformity in SA, physical parameter, dissolution, SA and content uniformity. Then packing, forming temperature, sealing temperature or stock minutes, to be cha challenge gap between cap and induction ceiling height so physical parameter leak test chemical test assay related substance so these are cpv and cpqa and you have to give rational how you decided the cpv and cqa and how you decided cqa in against of cpv so make a risk assessment make a rational for all of this so in your document this should be available a one of more example of injection at the time of manufacturing, clarity of solution after addition and mixing of each ingredient, mixing time, mixing is steep, nitrogen purging, check of correct measurement of volume, bubble point pre and post, filter integrity, filtration pressure. So in process, visual check of solution, pressure grade reading, we have to monitor, we have to return in our document sterility, bulk solution analysis as per specification. So these are the example of some CPV and CQA. We have to we prepare our protocol or our document with the rational or the risk assessment. How can we monitor all of these things in each and every batch? This is one of the screenshot I have taken from the FDA. That is process design as we discussed. Evaluate each and everything. Decide on the risk-based assessment about the CPV and CPQA. CPP and CQA. Evaluate that, confirm that. Then go to stage two, process qualification, PQ, design for facilities and qualification of the equipment utility, then PPQ, then distribute for the continuous process verification. If there is any change in any challenge, you can go to stage first of process design. So it not sell if we see more focusing on the process design so that at the time of process design stage first, all things should be evaluated first, confirmed first, then come into the PQ stage. And continual process verification give you an opportunity if there is any error observed because you are comparing your batch with the three batches, each and every batch with the three batches. If you find any deviation, if you find any error, if you find any event, you can investigate you can take action in a given time frame. 
in the apqr or pqr when you see the trained you cannot do the investigation on finding out any event at the time end of the year but in case of continuous process verification you verify each and every batch with your three validation batch so that if anything will be wrong you can rectify easily with the qms document so this is the small presentation on continuous process verification or continued process verification i hope you can understand in a short way if still any query you can write me on my mail id we will describe you all the things if with learning and sharing attitude and thank you for all of remain with me see my videos i hope you all healthy and remain in compliance i will come again with a different topic till then bye bye take care